Hey Worcester, welcome back to the Blue Space Minute. I'm your host Jacqueline. We're here at Indian Lake where previously we learned that we're having challenges with cyanobacteria, like many lakes and ponds in the country. But why now? Cyanobacteria are one of the world's oldest organisms and exist in almost every ecosystem on the planet, including in our lakes and ponds. But under certain circumstances, such as stagnant water that's warm and full of nutrients, they tend to reproduce really quickly to densities that can be harmful to human health. Indian Lake is a shallow lake, which means it warms up quickly. It also receives a lot of nutrient inputs from land. That's because every time it rains, Fertilizers from lawns, dog waste, goose waste, and other sediments are washed in through our storm drain system and into the lake, and this causes the cyanobacteria to thrive. But the city of Worcester is working hard to make sure that cyanobacteria don't interfere with our recreation at our lakes and ponds. Tune in to the Blue Space Minute to learn all about the different initiatives that we're taking on to keep our waterways beautiful.